How big can the sun get? I used a cursed command block to make the sun grow faster and faster. Over the next 10 days, the overworld will completely melt, inspired by real science. Just like if this happened in real life. Watch the villagers scramble and upgrade their city. But will they be able to survive? Let's find out. Oh, damn. He's big and angry. If you're wondering what that is, I found a cursed skulk meteor in space and I kind of crashed into the villagers. At the end of it all, that thing came out of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's casting something. He's absorbing all the cursed skulk blocks. Whoa, the overworld. It's turning back to normal. I better get away from that thing. Go, 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 go. Oh, I think I'll be safe behind this tree. Oh, what's happening to him? Oh, he's taking damage because of the sun. Wait, that gives me an idea. There, it's close to the meteor. If that's what I think it is. It's the command block. But look, some of the cursed skulk got on to it. Let's see what this thing can do. Okay, if I type a command into it, sun grow 10 days. Ow, 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 jeez, I'm taking damage. Oh, whoa, that was a huge skulk explosion. I think it's happening. The sun is growing. On day one, I looked up and the sun had already grown by 10%. It was 28 degrees Celsius and look, the skulk monster, he's taking damage. Yeah, you better run. Let's follow him. There, look, he's going into that cave. Okay, this is dangerous. Let's Let's keep following him. Ow! Jeez! Oh, that was a lot of knockback. Where am I? I think I'm seeing stars. Ah, no, these aren't stars. They're villagers. I must have landed in the village. Okay. But how are the villagers adapting to the sun? The villagers started adding slabs to their roofs in order to create canopies and shadows. But as soon as they saw me, they weren't too happy. Oh, jeez. Run, 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 run. Oh, there, a lake. Oh, look. Is it just me or the water looks lower here? Okay, I think I should go spy on those villagers. What are they doing? They're carrying water buckets from the lake into that thing. What is that? The villagers built a huge water tower. Looks like they already knew what was up and they were storing the water for later. The villagers caught on quick. Wait, what are these guys up to? Bro, these guys are tanning? Really? Wake up. The sun is literally growing. Oh, uh, I wouldn't go look into a mirror if I were you. <laughs> It's evening time. Looks like the villagers are going back home. This is my chance to walk through without being attacked. Okay, look at the farm. The crops are starting to die. The animals don't look comfortable either. I think day two, we should kick it up a notch. On day two, the sun was another 10% bigger. It was 55 degrees Celsius outside now. And as I moved through the village, there were no villagers out on the street. It was way too hot outside. I started taking damage. Ow, jeez, what is this? Sunburn debuff. Oh, I better find some shit. Oh, look, the villagers, they're all inside their houses. Smart. I need to cover myself from the sun somehow. Okay. All right. Here's a forge. I need a crafting table. What's inside this chest? Two leathers, three iron, four sticks, one apple. I think I can work with this. Hmm. Those two sheep. They look like they're doing quite well in the heat, actually. That gives me an idea. Let me just craft some shears. I will take some wool from you guys, if you don't mind. Now back to the forge. Three wools, two sticks. Ah, an umbrella. That's much better. Look, the animals, they're all freaking out and running away from the sun. <laughs> Freedom! Look at the water. That used to be a river. I don't know what to call that now. Wait a second. There's a lot changing up here, but what about the skulk monster? Last time he hit me real good. I better be more careful this time. I need some wooden planks. Ah, good thing these houses are made of them. I'll take this and this. Huh? Ow! Jeez! <laughs> you can't leave the shadow. Bet you wish you had one of these. Now back to the crafting table. Aha! A shield. Wait, I've got an idea. What happens if I put the shield and the umbrella together? Umbrella shield! I'll equip this. Now off to the Skulk Cave. Down we go. Whoa, check it out. Cursed Skulk blocks. We must be close. Let's be careful from here, because that guy is dangerous. Damn, this cave is huge. Hmm. There, look, a Cursed Skulk tentacle. It's attacking that group of spiders. But where's the monster? It's pulling the spiders down that way. Whoa, what is that? They're like Skulk particles. They're coming from the block I'm standing on. Uh oh, the tentacle sees me. Run, go, 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 go. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, dead end. Jeez. Woo. That was close. This way. This way. Yeah, uh, uh. This way. A narrow passage. Ha. He can't get in here. Oh, I see. 
So all the skulk blocks are like part of the monster. He's spreading himself through the cave, but it looks like I'm in a non-infected section now, but the skulk blocks are slowly taking over. That's bad news for the villagers. I followed the rest of the narrow pathway. I ended up in another cave, but this one was filled with villagers. They were building their underground settlement. It looked primitive so far, and the villagers had built it right under their village on the surface. Damn, check it out. Houses, they even have this trading area. What are those guys doing? They got water buckets. Whoa! They're filling up with that entire lake! Let's follow them. Another narrow passage. Uh-oh. It's a skulk area. Looks like the villagers are discovering it. Oh, there it is! There it is! Uh, yeah. Villagers meet skulk monster. On day three, the sun grew another 10%. Now it was 70 degrees outside. The surface was covered with radiation. Rivers and lakes were completely gone. The grass and dirt had become petrified. Forests were on fire. Animals were dying. And the air was full of smoke. It was unbreathable. All life was forced underground. And the cursed skulk blocks started to make their way towards the villagers. Look, look, the skulk tentacle. Now it's absorbing tree roots. It's the smoke again. Uh-oh, it sees me. Uh, uh, I gotta get into the villagers area. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, he gave up. It looks like the more blocks he infects, the stronger he's getting. The villagers upgraded their underground town. They started to group up. They armed a small group of villagers and sent them towards the skulk infected blocks. They tried tried to mine the cursed skulk, but every time they tried, the skulk monster would show up and stop them. Yeah, yeah, as if that was gonna work. The cursed skulk was about to take over the village, but then a few villagers came up with a brilliant idea. What are those guys up to? Whoa, 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 whoa. what is that? Are they building a fire barrier? But look, those villagers don't want to. It looks like one of those villagers wants to get rid of the skulk infection, but the other guy's saying the bigger problem is the sun's expansion. Well, I hate to break it to you guys, but they're kind of both your problem. After that, the village was divided into two factions. They built a wall between the two districts. One wanted to fight the Skulk Monster, and the other one wanted to research how to stop the sun. And while the two factions were arguing, they didn't even notice that the villager kids were being lured away. Yo, what's going on? Look at those kids. They're like brainwashed. Oh no, they're going into that passage. The Skulk Monster is manipulating them. Oh no, they shut down the fire barrier. Quick, save them. Oh, they were too slow. That's Brutal. So the skulk monster is able to brainwash villagers too. Oh, he sees me. Uh, uh, run, run. What's up with this guy? It looks kind of weird. Is he saying pray to the skulk? <laughs> yeah, I think you're on your own with that one, buddy. Ooh, that's brutal. I don't think the other villagers like that. Where's he going? Let's follow him. He's going into that house. Huh? Did he just pack his things? Oh, I don't know. I don't got good hopes for that guy. Oh, block of shame. The next day, the sun grew another 10%. It was 85 degrees Celsius outside. Radiation got even worse on the surface. The forests were completely burnt out. Not even the flames could survive. The floor was covered with burnt logs. And the sky was completely dark from all the ashes and smoke. Yeah, is this Earth or Mars? But there were some flames that could survive. Firestorms were raging around, destroying whatever was left. And even underground, ash was starting to make its way down. How is that getting in? We should investigate. Whoa, look, there's a lot of villagers. They look pale and in pain. What are they saying? Food. Hey, oh geez, somebody get this guy a sandwich. Hey, run. They must be starving. I guess their food supply is running low. What's that? Look, a tiny crack. That's where the ashes are coming from. Whoa. Look, that's crazy. That huge crack. Crack. The surface is cracking apart, and that's how the ashes are getting down here. It's only gonna be a matter of time before all of it comes down here. Ow! Jeez! Jeez! Ow! I'm taking damage. Uh, uh, back into the cave. Whew! Made it. Barely. Two hearts. Okay, let me get some cobblestone in. Yep, all patched up. You're welcome, villagers. Ah. <sighs> Only time I save them is when I gotta save myself. Still, a bunch of the ashes already got down here. What is that? How are the villagers surviving this? Whoa, look. In the district where they're trying to fix the sun, they built something. It's like an air filtration system. Look, there's a fan. And it's connected to a dispenser. And it's all wired with redstone to that lever. And they're filtering the air with wool blocks. Okay, so the side of the villagers that's researching the sun managed to clear
clean their air. But what about the villagers that want to fight the Skulk Monster? Let's go check on them. Damn! The Skulk Monster evolved! It can consume the fire barrier now. Look, it's cooling down temperature. Oh no, it's getting closer to the village. Where are they going? Where are the villagers going? They're speaking to the other side. They're saying that the cursed Skulk could help them buy time. Looks like they've made a truce. They're breaking down the wall! On day five, the sun was 150% of its original size. It was 100 degrees Celsius on the surface. Cracks were opening up all over the ground. The villagers started strategically mining the cursed Skulk blocks, but this was highly dangerous. Damn! That guy went zap! They tried to block the gaps as quickly as they were forming with cobblestone. Back in the village, they were dropping the cursed Skulk blocks into a cauldron filled with water. And then, whoa, what is that? It's like a cursed Skulk block, but it's different. It looks like it's been cured. I guess it's a cured Skulk block. The villagers look happy about it. Then they use the cured skulk blocks to build condensation chambers. When you put water buckets inside these chambers, water droplets from the ceiling would drip into the buckets, creating a source of water. This allowed the villagers to start farming again, putting an end to their hunger. But right when things seemed like they were getting better, what is that? Jeez, it's, ah, oh, that's not human. It's attacking the skulk miners. That thing is completely covered with cursed skulk. But that's not the skulk monster. It's like smaller and more nimble. Every Everything around him is turning into Skulk. Like, I can't even see him. Oh, I better get away from here. On day six, the sun was 160% of its size. It was 120 degrees Celsius on the surface. The ground literally started melting. Even underground, all of the land was burnt. Firestorms and radiation started to make its way down. The Skulk Monster's cave was burning. Luckily for the villagers, their area was still safe for now. The villagers called an emergency meeting because they were running out of time. What's going on? Look, that's the villager leader. What's he saying? All those guys are stepping up from the crowd. Everyone's cheering. They're dressed differently, like scouts. Are they headed towards the Skulk Monster's cave? I guess they're trying to find out what that thing was that attacked their miners. After the scouts marched into the Skulk Monster's cave. Everyone waited to see what would happen. But after a long time passed... Hey, yo! They just stole my food! Are they laughing at me? Hey, give that back! Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Oh, there! Ah! What'd they just put on me? Is this a pumpkin? Ugh. Where'd they go? Uh, that way. Okay, okay. Wait, what is this? It's like a farm for pumpkins. I think I'll take two of these. Look at this air filter. <laughs> I've got an idea. Let me just break these wool blocks. I'm gonna head to the forge. And there we go. A custom scarecrow. I'll just put this in the middle of the street and hide here. It's those two villagers. They're trying to prank me again. <laughs> they fell for it. Now take this and this. <laughs> Y'all look real dumb right about now. I think dinner is served. Whew. Got my hunger level back down. Never steal food from the purple demon. Huh? What's going on? All the villagers are running away from something. Only the leader is still standing there. On day seven, the sun was officially double its size and it was 250 degrees Celsius outside. Lava was seeping down everywhere. Even the village was taking damage. And then something even weirder started to happen. Whoa, look at those villagers. What's up with them? They look like they're infected with cursed skulk wait a second they're all drinking from that water oh i get it since the villagers were all drinking water from the cured skulk condensation chamber they were turning into half skulk infected villagers but with that they were gaining some new abilities Yo, look they can spit cursed skulk blocks and they're using that to fill the caps in the wall i gotta admit that's pretty creative but i can't imagine there's not gonna be some side effects with all that mutation oh Ooh, now that's some fall damage. What are we playing? Fall guys? What is that? It's that thing again. He's coming towards the village. Well, I better hide. Damn! He's attacking the village and he's strong. They're trying to fight back, but they don't stand a chance. It was a massacre. Whoa, is it just me or all of these villager bodies are arranged in a pattern? What does it say? Give up. I guess they don't have a choice. The villagers are surrendering. They're bowing to him. Wait a second. That looks familiar. It's that guy. The same guy that was saying pray to the skulk. And he left. Did he fuse with the skulk monster? On day eight, the sun started growing even faster. It was 300% of its original size. 400 degrees on the surface. Upside down volcanoes started to form underground. Lava was bursting from them. The villager city was completely covered in lava. But the villagers were nowhere to be seen. 
see. Where is everybody? Wait, they're all following that thing. He's leading them somewhere. This is another cave. Oh, there. The Skulk Monster. But it looks weak. It's like barely alive. Look, it's trying to grab the villagers. But that thing is stopping it. It's talking to the monster. Basically, the Skulk Wielder explained to the monster that they needed the villagers. The real problem was the growing sun. Once the sun got too big, none of them could survive. Eating them now would work against their cause. Okay, so what is he planning for the villagers? He's calling out for a team. Look, those guys look like scientists. What are they saying? Huh? Oh, how long have you been there? What? You're saying I'm not as sneaky as I think I am? Yo, watch who you're talking to. I caused all this destruction, if you think about it. All right, all right. Uh, three emeralds. Take this. We good? All right, I think we're good. The scientists explained that on day 10, a massive super volcano was going to erupt. This would end all life as they knew it, but enough energy would be generated from this eruption to launch something straight into the sun. They think that if they could launch enough cured skulk into the sun, it would cool down, stopping all of the destruction on Earth. The skulk monster and the villagers and the skulk wielder were all in. Besides, they didn't have another choice. On day nine, the sun was 500% of its original size, 600 degrees Celsius on the surface. And as promised, the super volcano started to form underground. The villagers worked quickly and turned the Skulk Monster's cave into their new settlement. It was the only place that wasn't too hot and they could still build. They built cursed Skulk houses and they started building the cursed Skulk ship. They even built a throne for the Skulk Monster. Man, this guy's got a big ego. That's coming from me. Oh, jeez. I guess he wasn't really cool with not eating the villagers. Talk about biting the hand that feeds you. Soon, the cursed Skulk ship was nearly finished. And that's when oh, it's going down. It's going down. The monster's telling the villagers to get in the ship. Huh? What's going on? Damn! The Skulk monster just got sucked into the ship. He can't break out. Wait, what? I was confused why the villagers would agree to build their own doom device. But that's when... Never underestimate estimate the villagers. See, they built the ship actually as a prison for the Skulk Monster. We know that the Skulk Wielder was the crazy guy saying pray to the Skulk Monster. But what we didn't know was that he was a father and his child was brainwashed by the Skulk Monster and lured into the cave. He swore one thing and one thing only, revenge. But the Skulk Monster was able to completely brainwash villagers. How did this guy never fully get taken over? Huh? What's that? It's in his bag he was carrying the whole time. It's a fragment. From the Curse Skull command block. Turns out that when I activated the Curse Skull command block and blew it up, somebody was spying on me the whole time. After I left, he found a piece of it and collected it. Then, when the Skulk Monster tried to consume him, the Curse Skull command block allowed him to keep a piece of himself. What are they gonna do with it now? Yo! They just threw it into the prison and it's pulling in the Skulk Monster like a magnet. He can't get up. Oh, this is your chance. It was day 10. The sun was a thousand percent of its original size. It was 1200 degrees Celsius outside. Earth was completely molten liquid and the cured Skulk ship was right above the super volcano. Oh no, the Skulk monster. He's gonna break out. Oh, uh, three, two, one. Oh! The super volcano erupted and the ship was sent straight into space and right into the sun. Here it comes, here it comes. Huh, we're still alive? The sun, did it get cured? Oh no, that doesn't look like cured Skulk to me. 